I've been aware of this issue since Iron Mouse got her VOD channel striked fraudulently by just parasocial freaks who want Iron Mouse to dox her information. Because the only way that you can beat these counter uh, copyright strikes, which, you know, anime reaction space we're very familiar with, is you have to give your entire information. Now, you can basically have an LLC as in like a different uh, business. And then rather than your personal information and where you live being given away, then you can use the business entities. But currently, this is the situation. Let's see what Mr. Rev has to say about this. Hey, what's up, guys? We're here. So recently, it looks like Twitch and YouTube are having a mid off when it comes to their treatment of VTubers on their platforms. Recently, we saw that girl actually un got unbanned a day after. But if people didn't make a shitload of noise, and I'm not saying that my video did anything, but a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of different VTubers were banding together and tagging, you know, Dan Clancy, Twitch support, blah, 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 making a lot of noise. So she did get unbanned, which is great. Saw the whole situation unfold with Fallen Shadow on Twitch, where she was unfairly banned for a second time in the past two months. Once again, getting banned with no reason provided initially, where eventually it was revealed that she was removed because of some alleged self-harm comments she made during a stream, where after a lot of backlash, she was eventually unbanned mm -hmm. in the most passive-aggressive message sent. <laughs> yeah. They don't, like, uh, acknowledge their fault. They don't say, sorry, we're my bad. They just say, okay, um, we, we look at your appeal. Uh, you know, we, we did enforce it correctly, but, uh, you know, sure, unbanned. From Twitch right here, and we also saw Zentrey at the same time get oh? hit with this warning, labeling her content as sexual themes because she wore a one-piece bikini on her VTuber model for only about five minutes of her stream as she talked in the background of her setup. Now, do other girls that are not VTubers also get that same treatment, or is this VTuber specific? But we've seen a lot of issues going on with V Shoujo recently. I mean, the whole fruit situation is an entire mess, and we've seen it breach containment at this point. And on top of that, we've seen some uh, extra drama being added on with posts being removed at the request of V Shoujo. But that is a topic for another day, perhaps. But the one thing. Okay, that's what it was like, this crazy. This is, this, yeah, Deadpool, sure, that's funny, but something about this mouse, this post is hilarious. Thing I think people are a lot less divided on is the Iron Mouse situation. Mm -hmm. And this involves YouTube because her main channel on YouTube yep. has been axed. Now As of today, and before it was just a VOD channel that was in danger of that shit, but now her main channel with like a mil sub is just gone. Now we saw a couple weeks ago, an Iron Mouse VODs channel was yep. taken down for what seems to be very malicious reasons. And I say that because the evidence suggests, and from Iron Mouse's own words, that people, bad actors, were filing malicious strikes against her channel in the form mm -hmm. of copyright strikes, where many people believe they are fishing for personal information because- That's right, because like if you get a copyright strike, you can appeal and you can win, right? We've done this time after time, not in just my own channel, but many other anime reaction channels too. But in order to do that again, you need to give your private information out. Me, I don't care because I'm not a VTuber. I'm not trying to be anonymous. But for someone like Iron Mouse, where privacy is one of the most important things, like, what the fuck are they supposed to do? Because in order to fight off these claims, she would have to provide certain personal information. Yeah. And obviously, that is something we don't want in the hands of bad actors. And of course, YouTube, in their infinite wisdom, has done nothing to counter any of this going on. And really, this is a situation that is tailor-made for YouTube. They should... It's just so fucking frustrating. And this isn't like a recent issue either. Like the copyright system on YouTube, it's been a decade plus, right? This shit's been getting abused over and over again, time after time. You have fraudulent copyright strikes. And then YouTube system is shoot first, ask questions later due to a myriad of just legality issues and YouTube not wanting to foot the bill, right? They have the system in order to protect their platform. That's why the creators themselves are kind of put into this situation or else YouTube themselves would get sued, right? Intervene. I've seen it happen before, but for some reason in this situation with the Iron Mouse VODs channel, they have not intervened in the same way that they have with other channels in the past, not requiring any sort of formal response, but instead YouTube just cutting off the claims by themselves. Now, of course, we fast forward to the present and Channel's gone. another channel associated with Iron Mouse got hit, and that is her main channel on YouTube, a channel she has had for many, many years and racked up, obviously, a lot of views and gained a lot of support through. 
it is completely gone. Now, the reason provided is also very suspicious. It says this account has been terminated because it's linked to an account that received multiple third party claims of copyright infringement, which. So my understanding of this is so um, when one channel gets deleted due to the three strike system for copyright, any channel associated with that channel also gets deleted. This is how YouTube works, right? So if it's all associated with the same AdSense account, like the same email, like that shit gets automatically deleted along with it. But I think that this is like her VOD channel got deleted and then later her main channel got deleted, right? Obviously sounds a lot like the situation involving the Iron Mouse VODs channel, which leads people to believe there is something malicious going on here, which would lead to Iron Mouse making this statement two days ago saying, Incredibly sad and shocked that my main YouTube channel has been terminated. Right now, I have a legal team working on things. That's good. I'm so sorry to inconvenience everyone who enjoys watching my videos. Hopefully, this can get resolved soon. And I'm sure it will. There is no fucking way that Iron Mouse just gets banned on YouTube due to fraudulent copyright strikes that their automated system just processed. There is no way in hell a creator that big with this much, you know, outreach will remain like this. She can't come back. Now, this may shock you. A lot of people think, who, who in the world would go after Iron Mouse, right? Even like the biggest... Doesn't matter how wholesome you are. Doesn't matter what kind of person you are. There's always going to be freaks online. All it takes is one single insane person to try to do shit. And they just want to get Iron Mouse's fucking private information. These shoujo haters are like, I don't like Vishoujo, but I like Iron Mouse. And also, she's just a very kind person and has a, a very interesting story to her life that a lot of people sympathize with so you think like who could possibly hate iron mouse well there are some incredibly schizo people that have this conspiracy theory that iron mouse is faking her illness therefore if they try to get private information through i don't know youtube copyright strikes and hope that she'll fucking counter appeal using her pri private information that maybe will lead to something maybe that's one angle i'm not sure i'm trying to really theorize what these insane freaks are thinking I made a video a few months ago talking about her TikTok page because for some reason in the wake of a, a streamer of the year uh, nomination that she got, a lot of fans of the other nominees were upset and they've been harassing her on TikTok for months since really? then. You go to the comment section of videos from even a couple months ago. There was just nothing but negative comments, and it's oh, very strange. That. And apparently she saw or was made aware of my video and wasn't even aware that this was happening to her TikTok. So there's a lot of people out there who are, for some reason or another, going after Iron Mouse. And clearly in this situation, something isn't quite right. And she would also add on to the situation saying that not only is she dealing with all this stuff uh, with the YouTube channels, but also she's being sent a lot of death threats and other disturbing messages. It'll be okay. My my legal team is working on it. And uh Poor girl man. They're they're talking to somebody directly at YouTube right now. So we'll be okay. Oh we hit one sixty five K, what the heck? Yay. Why are people trying to mess with me so much? Uh They're just insane. I don't know. Cause me. Crazy. I've been getting crazy death threats too, it's insane. Yeah, the past few days, it's been pretty bad. Death threats, threats about, threats on my career, threats on my health. People are so fucking everything. unhinged it's, online, man. It's a lot, it's a lot. Again, I think it's very obvious that something malicious is going on here. And it's very frustrating to see YouTube taking such a backseat on the situation. They have not made any form. And that's the thing, right? It's like, YouTube, what are you fucking doing? Like, I, I do understand to a degree that this corporation does not have enough headcounts, enough actual people to handle cases like this immediately. That's why they have everything automated through AI and try to automate a lot of these uh, chore-like work. Because there's no way to just... There's so much videos. There's so many channels on YouTube. I get that. But at the same time, when people are making this much noise, especially someone as big as Iron Mouse, there's like fucking nothing about it, huh? And I guess it's in YouTube's best interest not to just immediately just put out some kind of fucking kind of statement. But it is still so frustrating that at the end of the day, it, 
the whims of insane people online abusing their the fucking system that exists on YouTube can get creators that's big as Iron Mouse just in this situation which you can't fucking do anything about it. I, I wish, I hope, like, my dream is... Not, I just want the system to fucking change, to protect the creators more, because right now, it is the fucking Wild West, and I hope that this situation, while it is very sad and disappointing, right, it's, it's, it's really unfair, maybe this will be the start of something. I doubt it. I doubt it, but just, Jesus Christ, will they ever fucking change the system? Normal response... And right now, it's been over 48 hours since her main channel has been taken down. It's absolutely mind-boggling to me that YouTube has not made any official movement on this situation. They should be taking care of this ASAP. This is one of the biggest VTubers in the scene. This is her YouTube channel. You should do something about this the day it happens. I, I don't understand how nothing is happening at this moment. Classic and not YouTube. only that, it seems like from Iron Mouse's own words... That they're taking legal action. And I'm sure V Shoujo is very involved, who have direct contacts with YouTube, I would imagine. And still, nothing. How is nothing happening with the situation? It's clear as day that these are false claims mm -hmm. and done in a very malicious way. And still, YouTube can't make a fast response. It gives you. I guess it's so fucking bureaucratic up there that anything, it's just a turtleneck speed. There's so many different processes and different levels of decision making trees that needs to handle these kind of cases where like what it needs to take like two fucking weeks for the right person to get the fucking email to finally make the decision very little hope about the platform and that goes for twitch as well yeah as as bad as youtube support they're pretty good on twitter right but twitch support i think is even worse than youtube i mean think about the the fallen shadow situation how much attention literally tweets with 50, 60, 70,000 likes on Twitter. Yeah, and tagging the fucking CEO along with it. Every, like, major VTuber is also making the same kind of tweets. Tagging all of them involved. And they did make a decision, though. That's what it took to get yeah. any sort of action out of tw a Twitch in that situation. Same with YouTube here. I mean, if Iron Mouse can't get things fixed quickly... Then how the fuck am I supposed to, right? I'm not saying me in specific because I'm so important. No, I'm just making an example of someone as small as me, right? Other creators, that's way more smaller and sub, sub count doesn't have twitter like presence like you just get fucked man that's that's the game that we play what are you gonna do about it cry nothing's gonna fucking change if i cry like who can that's the big the big problem here is that it seems like even the biggest vtubers can't get any sort of response from twitter or twitch or youtube and it's painfully obvious and if you're a smaller content creator, especially a VTuber on those platforms, I'd be very nervous because if you get hit with a, a strike or a sexual content warning or something like that, the chances of you getting that fixed are pretty much non-existent. Mm -hmm. And that's not being pessimistic. I think that's being it's realistic. a bit of a realist in the situation, given what we have seen with these VTubers over the past couple of months and even years at this point. And again, the fact that it's been over 48 hours and this main channel is still down. It's been well over a week with the VOD, the VOD channel and that one's still down. What, what else do you need at this situation? YouTube is really putting itself in a bad situation. But let's return to some other things here. Uh, actually, YouTube is now apparently taking some steps to mm -hmm. fix community guideline violations by allowing people to edit out okay. those portions of the video. Okay. Which is something very different. Okay, we're dealing with copyright before, but now... Yeah, this this is actually a pretty useful tool. Sometimes, like, for example, my BBW Elf <laughs> anime reaction, there was a little bit too much uh, motion with the jiggling, I guess, with the belly and grabbing it. Somehow YouTube was like, nope, this is a bad kink. I'm going to age restrict you. We're going to send you a fucking uh, potential warning for a, a TOS strike. But with the stool saying, yep, this is the exact segment, please get rid of it. Sure, I'll abide. Now, community guideline strikes, which is another thing that's hitting a lot of VTubers recently. And they are now allowing, in some circumstances, that's to have a fixable community guidelines violation. If this is... I'm just looking at some other stuff going on here. What is this one? Hold up. I don't really care about the Jack Zach Busey. Busey. What is this one? Kitty Flute VT? Moment. But also, we have seen a lot of other VTubers reporting that their accounts have been suspended on Twitch or they've been hit with those sexual content warnings as well. 
And in response, I believe in response to the backlash, mainly from the Fallen Shadow situation, Twitch is made- Oh, that's actually good. Streamers will be sent clips of the violations so they understand why they were banned. Cause like, yeah, when you get banned, you don't have like an example of the stream where the ban happened, right? Like, what did you say? What did you do to get that banned? Now, I, I know what I said on 9-11 to get banned, right? Of course I do. But sometimes it's a little bit, you know, you stream for fucking eight hours and you get banned off of a TOS violation that you didn't even know that you violated. It's like, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do, right? So this kind of stuff is very nice. Made an announcement that they're going to give some more transparency cool. when it comes to bans. That's helpful. So it says, uh, Twitch announced bans on the platform will be more transparent. In chat, an excerpt from the messages will be sent to the user in an email. Streamers will be sent clips of their violations so they understand why they were banned. Streamers and chatters will be able to appeal, which nice. is interesting because now they're giving actual messages tool. and uh, explanations to viewers for things they said. But on top of that, it seems like they're going to make it concrete that if you're a streamer on Twitch and you get banned, they're going to show you the specific clip that got you in trouble, which... Good. Good. There, there needs to be some sort of fucking receipt so that we can see what we did wrong and actually fix those actions rather than just being in the fucking shadow without any idea of what's going on. That should just be the baseline, right? And with Fallen Shadow and the other related VTubers who got in trouble recently, most of them either got a very delayed notice of what happened or they got none at all, which is just completely ridiculous to rip away someone's livelihood or their main platform without an explanation or a specific reference to what got For people like me that doesn't keep VODs, it doesn't matter because they can clip the stream. Even if the VOD is not saved, a temporary video is airing. So, you know, during the 9-11 stream, right? I got banned live. Even if the VOD wasn't saved, it was kind of running the stream the entire time and they can clip that section and send me exactly what I did wrong. Got them in trouble. That's totally unfair. And on top of that, it's kind of pointless in terms of enforcement of your rules. Because people don't even know what to improve on. If they don't even know what they did wrong, how would they prevent themselves from doing it again in the future? It's very counterintuitive. Mm -hmm. But anyways, that seems to be the situation there. But also, I want to point out one final thing here. Uh, Pippa raised a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so who knows, right? I'm always down to put the tinfoil hat on and, you know, play along with these theories. But maybe there is someone at Twitch that just really fucking hates VTubers. And imagine being a VTuber and you're at the whims of this crazy moderator who just has a bias against your kind. What are you going to do about it? What the fuck can you do about it? Nothing. Conspiracy theory here, uh, responding to a lot of the unfair treatment of VTubers over the past couple of weeks, and it definitely coincides with September. Mm. And Twitch has their own thing. We're in the month of uh, September. Cheap they have subs. like unique events where if you gift a certain amount of subs, you want to get a bonus sub added on, and they have a, a different thing with bits. It's to basically encourage people to sub more and give more bits and support their streamers more. Yeah, I'm so glad that you guys supported me so much during the first 11 days of September. <laughs> and then I got the indefinite ban, which got turned into two weeks, right? Because I appealed, but all that shit's just... I feel bad, man. Like, shit. Y'all fucking wasted that money for that ad-free experience. Hey, at least you're getting the ad-free experience on Kick now, though, right? It's, a, it's like everyone's a sub now. See, we're gonna... Like, we, we figured it out. And the conspiracy theory is that Twitch hates VTubers and they're trying to shut them down during one of the most lucrative months of the year. And Does that make sense though? You think Twitch would be down to miss out on an opportunity to make even more money through VTubers, you know, just farming subs in September just to make a stance? Just because a moderator or a couple moderators or a group of people are power tripping and don't like VTubers? That seems a bit counterintuitive, right? Like, un unless they truly are just fucking insane and it doesn't matter, right? I mean, Twitch is not profitable, so they're like, fuck it, whatever. I, I don't know. It it's just hard for me to believe this logic where in this month where Twitch can make even more money through VTubers that they ban them. Uh? And basically hog all of the resources for other streamers. All the extra benefits of September will be going to face cameras and more traditional But it doesn't really matter where those resources go because at the end of the day, it's still Twitch getting money. And I don't think that if a VTuber gets banned, that suddenly I'm going to start getting the subs from that VTuber audience. You know what I mean? So I, 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 I don't think that this logic really holds. Streamers instead of VTubers. And I think 
given everything going on, it's not that much of a crazy conspiracy theory. I think there's actually something to it. I do believe that there is a bias. Maybe there is a bias, but I don't really understand the logic of fucking <laughs> avoiding making more money and then thinking that that money that's a void now because it's not going to the VTubers, it's going to go to other streamers. There's no correlation there. Those VTuber audience don't give a fuck about other face cam streamers unless they already watch them. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Obviously, uh, pretty frustrating situations across the mm -hmm. board for VTubers on Twitch and YouTube. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. As Thank you, Rev, for the video. And yeah, just in horrible situation. Please go give Mr. Rev a like on the video. Check out his channel if you haven't. But it's just one of those things, man. Life isn't perfect, right? And YouTube is not perfect. There's, I'm very, I'm very uh, grateful to YouTube as a platform. Same as Twitch, Patreon, all these different things that's allowed me as a nobody to just fucking grind from nothing and actually build up something and to do this for a living. But there's definitely a lot of frustrations that comes along with trying to do this full time because it's your fucking livelihood, right? And it's for Iron Mouse where she can't even appeal against it, right? The core thing is if she actually did appeal against the counter strikes, copyright strikes, she would win easily. But that's not the point because then those people would have her private information, right? So YouTube's automated system just not recognizing this and no fucking actual person seeing over overseeing this has created a scenario where their automated system has just deleted Iron Mouse's channels. But in due time, I'm sure it'll come back. Just fucking frustrating that created this big and for a platform that's been riddled with this issue for such a long time, it's still seemingly no improvement.